Hi, I'm Sue Resig, and I wanted to share with you what I'll call a new and improved Hippocrates soup. It's all the same ingredients. We still simmer it the same for two to three hours. The biggest difference I have found, and this brings out more flavor in the soup, is I take my vegetables and I pop them in my blender just for a few seconds, just enough to chop them fine. I'm not doing all the chopping by hand. And this chops it very fine. And then I put it in my pot and simmer it. And because of the small pieces, it releases more flavor into the broth. I find I can use fewer vegetables and get the same amount of broth with the same flavor. Or if I use the same amount of vegetables that I did before in the same amount of water, I actually get more flavor. So you can use it as you'd like. You can use it as a, a money saver because you could use fewer vegetables to get the same quantity and flavor, or you can just use it to bring out more flavor and use the same amount of vegetables you did before. So let me show you how I do this. I have my vegetables just chunked up, you know, so I'm not throwing in a whole celery root. I'm not throwing in a whole tomato. I'm not throwing in whole potatoes. I just chopped them up uh, coarsely, maybe four or six pieces each one, just so that it fits into the blender a little bit easier, okay? So I'm using a uh, half a celery root, two small potatoes, a small handful of parsley, and I'm putting in one leek instead of two. I'm putting in three cloves of garlic, one tomato, one onion, See, and normally I would use two tomatoes, two leeks. Um, I'd use three potatoes. And the garlic's the same, the celery root's the same. And if I don't have a celery root, I'll use a couple stalks of celery. So I've got all my vegetables in there. And I'm going to fill it with water. And that's about a half a gallon of water in there. There, all done. That was what, 10 seconds at the most? And everything is finely chopped. I'll show that to you, see? I'm glad I didn't have to chop all that by hand. So now I'm just going to put it in my pot. I'm going to add the rest of the water because I'd like to use at least three quarts of water, if not three and a half. I'll probably put another quart and a half of water in there so that I, I'm all together. I'm using three and a half quarts of water with my vegetables. And this will last me, which is nice because I do drink a lot of Hippocrates soup. Now this might be a big batch for you. If you're doing the gherkin therapy, you may not need this big a batch, which means you can use even fewer vegetables and less water because you're only supposed to have it for 48 hours. Keep it that long. I have it the day I make it and then for two more days afterwards. And that way I can get three days out of it. But um, post gerson, now that I'm after gerson, I'm not drinking as much as I used to. I used to have a whole quart a day. And it was the Hippocrates soup that healed my kidneys. I used to have the start of kidney disease and I don't anymore. So there you go, tasty Hippocrates soup. And I, oh, and then you know when it's done, I do put it through a food mill and, and do that to uh, separate the fiber and uh, get the, the good um, broth out of there. You know, and a lot of people have asked me on my other video, why, you know, can I put it in the blender? Can I, why don't you eat the vegetables? You know, all that good fiber. If you're following the Gerson therapy, we follow it the way it was written, okay? If you're not following the Gerson therapy, you can do what you want. You can put it in the blender and eat the fiber. You can eat the vegetables. It's not the end of the world if you're going to eat the vegetables. But Dr. Gerson's main concern was that you, your body be able to absorb all the nutrients. And he really didn't 
want all that fiber in there because it gets in the way of the absorption. He wanted you to be able to absorb the nutrients from the soup, just like he wanted you to absorb the nutrients from your juices. Okay, I hope that helps clarify for you. And that's why I still put it through the food mill. I don't want all that fiber in there. I just want the good broth and the good nutrients. So I'd be curious to know how you're gonna do it. If you're gonna try it this way with the blender, are you doing it to save money or are you doing it to increase flavor? Give me a vote for that. I'm just curious how you'll use it. Thank you, bye-bye. There we go. This is a half gallon of jug and this is a half gallon with almost a half a gallon. So that's exactly how much water I put in. No, I take it back, I put a, a full gallon into my pot when I went to cook it. I said I was gonna do three and a half quarts. I ended up putting all four quarts, a whole gallon of water in there. And you can see that that much of it cooked away from the simmering. And, and then I've milled it and now it's ready to go. And you might wonder, what are all the things that I use it for? Well, I use Hippocrates soup for more than just just drinking. I also use it for all my cooking. So if anything calls for vegetable broth, it makes a really nice soup base. If um, I'm cooking greens or vegetables, I use a little Hippocrates soup in when I cook the vegetables and that it gives them more flavor, definitely gives them more flavor. Um, yeah, any anytime I wanna use uh, in my cooking some water, it, it, mashed potatoes taste really good made with the Hippocrates soup. So there's some thoughts and uh, I hope that makes it easier for you.